welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Tanelia. I am bringing you a new launch from Nomad Cosmetics. It's funny because I didn't even realize Nomad was launching anything new. I do follow them on Instagram, but I noticed I wasn't getting notifications, so I just decided one day, let me go check out their Instagram, see what's going on over there, and I saw that they were teasing a brand new palette and when i saw the color store you guys i got so super excited i think you can tell by the look on my eyelids what the color story is i have been a fan of nomad cosmetics for almost three years now their formula has become one of my absolute favorite formulas from indie brands i love everything about the brand i love what they stand for i love the fact that all of the palettes have to do with a specific destination it could be a park it could be a country it could be a city town festival which is exactly what the name implies nomad they just kind of take you all over the world with their color stories with their palettes and i absolutely love that let me show you guys what the palette is looking like and oh my god i was just everything about this palette just brings me joy first of all the outer carton the palette is in collaboration with the aka vango safari i do hope that i'm saying it right but this is our outer carton look at that absolutely beautiful i think i'm going to keep this i don't usually keep the outer cartons in the outer packaging but this is straight artwork i did also keep the hudson valley one which i pull which i will be pulling out you know in the fall because it's perfect fall decor but i just think this is so beautiful i will be hanging on to this and then the palette look at this packaging and you guys this is actually material like it kind of feels like felt this beautiful safari leopard print something else that i also love about nomad is that they go in with their palettes they do not hold back with the details with the color stories with the little embossings inside of the palette which i will also show you you know inside of each one of the eyeshadows they put everything all the details in to their products and that's just one of the reasons why i love them this is our color story we have a mixture of warm and cool tones you have some orangey bronzy tones in the top the beautiful greens green is one of my absolute favorite shadows to use as well as oranges we have some neutrals in here we also have some like cool tone silvers and grays there's a multitude of looks that you can do with this palette before we jump into looking at the swatches i do want to give you some details the palette has 15 shades which you saw when i showed you the color story this is not limited edition so this will be part of their regular collections you will be able to get it at any time so there is no rush to run out and buy it now if you choose to wait it will be available for you it will be 42 dollars us dollars the palette will be launching on tuesday may 30th at 1201 a.m eastern standard time so about 11 p.m central standard time 9 p.m monday may 20th if you are pacific standard time and if you are in the akavango delta it will all it will be 6 a.m for you i also have a code which i always forget to mention it is tenilia 10 so my first name followed by the number 10 it will save you 10 percent i do not make a commission on it so it's not it's not affiliated or anything like that but if you do use it you will save 10 percent so you will save a little bit of money all right now let's get to talking about the actual color story and the formulas that are in this palette the destination Feel the rumble, hear the crash, see the herd. Welcome to Botswana's Akavanga Delta. It's awe-inspiring animal kingdom. This natural oasis that springs to life with seasonal flood waters is home to some of the world's most endangered mammals. It's sustaining the largest population of elephants on earth and robust communities of rhinos, hippos, lions, and African wild dogs. A safari to the Akavango creates once-in-a-lifetime experience and supports conservation of the vast area and its precious wildlife. Our color story. It is one of expressive far huge shades inspired by the Akavango's magnificent creatures and naturally beautiful landscapes from golden line and gray elephants to khaki sagebrush and mopane tree and green there are nine rich mats three smooth shimmers and three animal print shimmer swirls each palette also represents a cause and with this one it says we are excited to help protect the majestic animals and the communities of the safari by supporting the wilderness wildlife trust that is everything about the palette and the color story and the cause i don't believe i have missed anything now let's jump into putting together 
this look. For this one, I'm mainly going to focus on the greens because I absolutely love green and I really want to see how the greens perform in this palette versus some of the other palettes that have greens in them as well. But I am going to do two more looks and I'm going to focus on some of the other shades like these two right here i'm looking forward to trying out in another video this really pretty sparkly shimmery silver oh my god in the swatches this shade was absolutely amazing but like i said in this video we're going to mainly focus on our greens so we're going to start off with the shade in the middle that shade is called vimbura plain so we're going to start with this one all over the lid and I've taken that out just a little bit and then this shade and then probably this one right here to deepen up so let's start off with the Mbura Plains so what do you guys have planned for the Memorial Day weekend does anybody have anything exciting that they're planning on doing going out of town visiting family we don't really have any like major plans to do for Memorial Day we don't really do much sometimes we will set up the grill in the back and like do a little barbecuing but that's pretty much it this weekend though my oldest his birthday is tomorrow today is reveal day that i'm a film that i'm filming this you may be seeing this on my son's birthday but as i'm filming this tomorrow is his birthday he will be 26 years old i mentioned that in my shop my stash i still cannot believe it i cannot believe that i'm about to have a 26 year old it just it just amazes me to even think about he is about to be 26 so we're going to be taking him out to dinner tomorrow he picked out a japanese restaurant this this is something that we do every year in our family we have a family dinner where we take the kids and you know they can go pick whatever restaurant they want to go to specifically for their family dinner and then we may do something else or the kids may do something with their friends and then we're also going to be seeing the little mermaid he won't be coming it's not really his thing but me my husband my daughter and the youngest son very very excited about this version of little mermaid we're going to be doing that first and then taking my son out for his dinner later okay that green is performing beautifully it's kind of a chartreuse green i'm going to go in with my real techniques crease brush and we're going to go into chief's island which is this kind of a brighter green right here and i'm just going to take that lightly into the crease that's blending really beautifully as well mainly just using this just to kind of deepen and give a little more definition to the crease i was trying to find the right word just a little bit more definition into that crease area i really like brushes like this with that point because when you have smaller lid space and your lids you also have like a little bit more of a hood this goes like right into that crease and it really helps to carve that area out as you can see it really helps to bring out that crease i'm definitely looking forward to having a little bit more time to kind of get back into the channel a little more time to get some things done right here because you know my daughter's graduation everything was just so crazy and so busy and i just didn't have a lot of time to really focus on stuff so it's nice to like have time to really kind of do some things i'm going to take just a little bit of that shade and just kind of around um, just to kind of pull it a little bit past the eyelid just really blend it in that area so far i am really liking the way this look is coming out now i want to just kind of deepen the outer corner so we are going to go into honking hippos this deeper brown right there and i'm just going to use that to just kind of smoke out the outer corner a little bit and just add just a little bit more smokiness a little bit more definition so i'm going to pat this right here oh that's pretty and I think that undertone goes really well with the greens. I am always excited to see what Nomad is going to launch next. As I've mentioned before, they've just become one of my favorite indie brands over the last couple of years. So that's pretty. I'm just going to continue to, to work on the outer corners and just smoke the edges out. I will also maybe possibly be, be be doing a look for my reels it just kind of depends on what happens when i do the two looks like i said i finally have more time to work on my channel and do some more looks and just kind of really get back into things so we'll just kind of see what happens in the next couple of weeks oh that shade is so pretty i'm loving the smokiness and it blended so easily 
I'm going to add just a little bit more right close to the lash line just to kind of build up that area. For shimmers, all over the lid, we're going to take Nile Crocodiles right here and then going into the inner portion of the eye and possibly going into the inner corner, we're going to take Keystone Termite. So let's start with that one all over the lid and I'm just going to use my Joa Shader Brush. This shade was one that had kind of like the sparkly, shifty kind of glitter going on. I might have to take my glitter base. I want to see what it looks like first going in the lid with just a dry brush. And then if I need to, we'll add a little bit of tackiness to kind of pump it up and we'll see. So we're going to lay this right there. Okay, that's gorgeous. I don't think I am going to need a sticky base. That is looking really good in its own. So I'll lay this all over the lid. Okay, that is looking really good. We're definitely going to go back in and blend the mattes out a little bit more over it. But this is such a beautiful shiny shade. It's like green with a little bit of just tiny shifty flecks of gold. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of my finger and just tap. I'm going back in with my Beauty Bay brush. I didn't add any product to it. I just want to blend out the mattes and the shimmers. I'm taking Keystone Termites on this smaller flat brush. This came out of a Makeup Revolution advent calendar. That's pretty. It's just a soft kind of a bronzy shimmer. For my inner corner, I'm going to dip into my Perfusion Artistry Attire Palette. There's nothing light enough in here that I want to use for the inner corner, and the shade that I'm going to use is Daylight this kind of greenish tealy blue in the corner and I'm just going to lightly tap that into the inner corner just just a little bit. I just want to add a little bit more brightness into this area. That is going to be it for the shadows. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to throw something in my waterline, do my wing, lashes, lips, and we'll come back and do some final first impression thoughts on this amazing new launch from Nomad Cosmetics. For my waterline, I went in with my ColourPop Hocus Pocus Cream Gel Liner in Black Flame Candle. It's just a really pretty metallic green. I thought that would be a lovely pop with this this beautiful sparkly green eye look. For my wing, I use my Epic Ink Liner from NYX. My lashes are from Whisper Wink or Salon Perfect in Whisper Wink, part of their vegan mink collection. Just love the way these flare out. And my lips, they are a combination of one of the Fly With Me lip crayons from AOA Studios in Utopia. It's just a really pretty soft orange tone I thought would go lovely with the greens. And then my lip liner, this is part of one of those Timu collections that I got from July Star Lip Liner. What I love about these is that they twist up so you don't have to worry about sharpening them. And they're so smooth and so creamy and very long wearing. I have been definitely enjoying this formula. Now for the palette. As I have mentioned a million times in this video, I was very excited when I saw this palette tease. These shades are right up my alley. As you guys know, I love greens. It's one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow shades. I love working with any tone of green. Any tone of green brings me joy and makes my heart happy. And I enjoyed working with this palette. All of the mattes blend it beautifully. I realized I did not use an eyeshadow primer today. I usually do that, but I just completely forgot it slipped my mind. Regardless, these shadows blended absolutely beautifully. I loved how smooth and buttery the formula was on the mattes and just how beautifully they blended. These shimmers are just absolute perfection. Shiny shimmer with just the right intensity. I absolutely love the Nomad formula. And yeah, I have nothing negative to say about this palette. I really enjoyed every shade that I used, all the formulas that I used, and like I mentioned, there will definitely be a two looks and possibly a fourth look in a reels or shorts. Just kind of depends on the time and the looks that I put together with the two looks when I do those. But that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. I definitely enjoyed playing with this palette. It was a very, very good time. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give the video a thumbs up. It really does help with the channel and getting the video into recommendations. If you're new to the channel and you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider Dry My Little Family. Hitting subscribe and make sure you tap that bell so you do not miss anything coming up in the future. You can also follow me on my other socials. I am on TikTok, 
Instagram, and Facebook. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.